Well, it's a beautiful day here in Ventura, California. Such a nice place to park. There's a guy out there walking his dog. Mimi is chewing on a pine cone. <laughs> She's so weird, I swear. I give her chew toys. She likes the pine cones and the snakes, though. But yeah, we're getting ready to go on an hour walk. Gotta keep that exercise in, stay healthy. Normally, if we don't go on hikes, we go on walks at least 20 minutes to an hour each day, don't we? Yep, because we got to stay active. There's Panda right there. Big old field, and they have a sports field too. There's another RV. And we were parked out up on that street over there yesterday. Moo Moo, how you feeling? Okay. <laughs> you wanna play? They also have another field with picnic tables and other dogs. <laughs> I think Moo Moo's found her a friend. There goes Moo Moo's friend. Come on, Moo Moo. We're just taking a walk and they're doing some construction around here, but uh, other than that, this would make a great place to boondock. And also down this road, there's street parking and the road is really wide. So there's a car parked up there. And also there's no signs. Yep, right off of Peona Street and Satakoy. Looks like somebody's already boondocking in their van. Oh, I like that sticker. Mean people suck. Live your dreams. Deal with it and girls can do anything. That's cool. But yeah, right here, it's a wide, wide street and there's parking on the side. This would be perfect for RVs or even van dwelling. And there's no red curb because if they paint the curb red, like right there on the corner, then you cannot park there. But it's not painted red and no signs posted. The nice man, he thought I was a new neighbor because there's a house for sale. I was like, nope, not me. There's more RVs. There's one right there. That's a short one. And then there's one down the road. Looks like a beetle. That is super cool. That is short. I love that. That's really cool. That you can take that RV anywhere. There's a lot of motorhomes in this area. We've reached the halfway point of our walk, of our hour walk, so it's time to turn around. There's an RV there. There's one there. Two more over there. If you had a smaller RV, places like this, neighborhoods, probably would be a great place to camp out or sleep for the night. I really like that small camper. That's so neat. There's another motorhome way down there. There goes the travel trailer. Just pulled on the side of the road. There's Panda. We made it back after our hour walk. How are you feeling? You need some water? I know I need some water. I love walking on the grass barefooted. Feels so good. two days so I'm gonna move locations aren't we Moo Moo I'm not moving that far we're just moving um, two blocks away because we scoped out a spot when we were walking the other day well we're in our uh, new spot but we're only gonna be here for um, a little bit this is not the very best spot it's just um, it's just for the sun. I'm gonna, I have a few things I need to do in the RV and I'm letting my solar charge because being on the street boondocking, it's really hard to get certain positions 
it's just not available so yep this spot was available and I'm gonna let my batteries charge for a couple hours get some stuff done and yeah and then we're gonna head over to Wally World and pick up some supplies what do you think about that she's like sure mama <laughs> Well, we were out for a walk and there's Moo Moo and we saw this on the sidewalk. Peace. Be happy. Smile. Laugh. Sing. Dance. Love. Play. Enjoy life. And that was done by a little kid. That's a smart kid. Isn't that a smart kid? Yep. Well, we're headed to Walmart to grab some supplies and also boomed off there for the night. Might as well since I'm having to get some supplies. Well, we got here. Kind of a cool looking Walmart. There's two RVs here. All right. Got to run in and get some supplies and I guess this will be the home for tonight. Thanks for coming along, y'all. See you later.